You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me, Akhmadula Jad. Let me say it right. Akhmadula <coughs> Jad of Iran. You've got to be kidding me. You're going to take a little trip to South and Central America, stand up on the mountain, maybe get a little extra footstool for you because you'll need to be able to see. Grab those binoculars and begin to look into the United States of America. You're on dangerous ground. Uh, here's, here's, here's the story. <sighs> wow, it's going to be a great radio show. Let me just announce right now. I will be live at 12 noon in about an hour. Okay, okay. 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's exactly right. And here's where the program will be. So if you want to watch it, streaming live, or let me tell you what to do. First, you can go to uh, you can go to libertybroadcastingnetwork.com. Okay, that's the first place you can go. LibertyBroadcastingNetwork.com. I'll be on from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Streaming live video as well as a live chat room. Or if you're at LibertyBroadcastingNetwork.com, you can also call in and watch the show on your Androids or listen to it on your cell phones or your Bluetooth or your iPads or iPods. So there's possibilities. People are wanting to know, Paul, how do we get a hold of your show? Go to LibertyBroadcastingNetwork.com. Or if you have an account already at Justin.tv, go there. Go to the Liberty Broadcasting page. I'll be on for three hours at Justin.tv live. Be there. Or go to my website, PaulBegleyProphecy.com. Just go to PaulBegleyProphecy.com. I'll be streaming live. Go to the live streaming page. Go to the bottom of the page. Go to the, go, go to paulbegleyprophecy.com. This is so cool now. paulbegleyprophecy.com. Go to the live streaming page. Scroll to the bottom. There you'll see it, the live streaming that be, that's going to be coming right onto the screen out of Blog TV and my own personal Paul Begley Prophecy. Are you serious? Chat room. You can get in there and chat with those folks. Or if you already have a Blog TV account, Go to Blog TV and find it under Heidi N. Paul. Heidi is spelled H-E-I-D-I. -I. That's Heidi, the letter N, Paul. Go there, and the program's also live today on Blog TV. So that's the, I mean, it's everywhere. Find it. We're going to be, thousands of people will be listening. Hundreds will be watching. And people all over the world will be being touched by the powerful Word of God, end-time prophecy, and current world events. Speaking of current world events, let's talk about Ahmadullah Jad again, because here we go. Iranian President Ahmadullah Jad of, of Iran is going to visit Venezuela and Cuba. Now, Iranian President Ahmadullah Jad is to visit Venezuela and Cuba as part of a four-nation Latin American tour. In the second week of January, this guy's coming just in a few days. In 2012, said an official, okay, an official of his regime. Now, Ahmadulajad will also visit Nicaragua and Ecuador on this trip. His international affairs director, Mohammad Reza Fohine, told the official news agency of the Iranian Republic National News Agency. All the countries are left-leaning. All the countries are left-leaning and share an ideological antagonism toward Iran. The arch foe is who? The United States of America. Now, Mr. Ahmadulajad will first go to Carcass to visit Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez, who is, is very ill with cancer, by the way. And also, can the, uh, they're confirming the announcement was made Tuesday by Hugo Chavez that, that Ahmadulajad is coming. Now, he will then go to the swearing-in ceremonies for Nicaraguan President Daniel Ortega. Remember him? What? He's, they just keep resurfacing the same guys. Here he is, uh, Daniel Ortega. 
of Nicaragua, oh, who has been reelected. And of course, Medula John will then travel to Cuba and to Ecuador, where he will hold talks with respective leaders there. Who's the leader of Cuba? That's right, Fidel Castro's brother. Another Castro, another communist, another regime, another oppression. 90 miles off the coast of Miami, Florida, will be staring at a small little beady eyes of who? Oh, Medula John. Now, some of you are really getting angry right now, so just calm down. Paul, why are you making fun of this world leader? Why are you doing this? I'm not making fun of him. I'm not making fun of him. No. I'm just telling you flat out, here's the deal. He's hanging pastors. He took 6,000 Bibles from the Christians. He's arresting Christians. He's going to stone a woman for adultery, or if not stone her, they'll hang her. He's got right now a former CIA agent of the United States of America. They've had him hostage in prison for over five years, and they just released a videotape of it. Oh, by the way, he says seven different times on videotape that he wants to blow Jerusalem off the face of the map. He says that he is a distant ancestor of the great prophet Muhammad and that Allah la, 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 has put him in charge of the great nation of Iran so that he can bring the chaos and the corruption and the devastating blow to Israel that will create such world chaos that it will usher in the 12th Imam the Ale Mahadi, who will bring peace and prosperity to the world. He stood in front of 20,000 Iranians and, ch and they chanted, Death to Israel! And he has repeatedly poked the United States presidents in the eye from George W. Bush to Barack Obama. Other than that, the guy's a pretty good dude. You probably could, be, you could hang out with him. I mean, come on, folks! Are we just going to sit there and now we're going to let him, oh, 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 and oh, I forgot to even bring up the most important part of it all. He wants nuclear bombs. What? He wants a nuclear warheads. He hates freedom. He, he loves his own self. He loves oppression. He rules his nation with a rod of iron. And with the Ayatollah Khomeini, who's also the supreme spiritual leader, they together have a ideology that is totally different than some of the other Muslim faiths within the Muslim umbrella. As Shiites and Sunnis don't get along. This guy also supports anything that Syria would like to do, including President Assad's mass murdering of his own people trying to hang on to power. And Ahmadullah ja just got a phone call from the new leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un, who said, hey, I can help you out with nuclear bombs, nuclear weapons. If you need some, let's talk about it. We can maybe we can get this thing together. Matter of fact, I could even help Syria. I hear you, you know. What in the world? What's going on? Folks, this is what's going to happen. We're going to hear of wars and rumors of wars, and we're going to see these biblical prophecies. But I got news for Ahmadulajad, and nobody wants me to read this to you. But the prophet Jeremiah said in chapter 49 that Ahmadulajad kingdom will come down. If you go to your Bible and read Jeremiah 49, verses 23 through 27, it talks about the fall of Syria and that Damascus will become a war zone. How's that coming off? That looks like that's coming together pretty well. In that same chapter, it says this in verse 34 through 39. For the word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah the prophet against Elam. Now, Elam is also Iran. In Daniel, Iran is referred to as Persia, but in Jeremiah, it's referred to as Elam. And the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet against Elam. In the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, the king of Judah, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will break the bow of Elam, the chief of their might. Now this has not happened yet. Now look, get this. And upon Elam will I bring the four winds from the four quarters of heaven. Sounds like NATO's coming. And will scatter them toward all those winds, and there shall be no nation whether the outcast of Elam shall not come. 
For I will cause Elam to be dismayed before their enemies, be hated, and before them that seek their life. And I will bring evil upon them, even my fierce anger, saith the Lord. And I will send the sword after them till I have consumed them. And I will set my throne in Elam. Did you hear that? Did you know there's already a lot of Christians in Iran? You Christians in Iran, God's not after you. God is not against you. God is not even against the Muslims in Iran. See, it's not his will that anybody perish. Jesus, the Bible says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God doesn't want anyone to perish, but all come to repentance. But he will break the bow of Elam. He will bring down the chief who's coming against his people, the Israelis, the nation of Israel, and those that are coming and oppressing the Christians around the world, including the Christians right there in Elam or Iran. Now, God said, I will set my throne in Elam and will destroy from thence the king and the prince saith the Lord, but it shall come to pass in the latter days. So when this is going to happen? In the latter days that I will bring again the captivity of Elam, saith the Lord. So now this prophecy, this ancient prophecy of 3,000 years ago has not happened yet, folks. But in the same chapter, Jeremiah 49, you can read about the battlefield coming to Syria in verses 23 through 27 and the fall of Iran. In 34 through 39, are you saved? This is how tough this thing is getting. This is how close we are to the coming of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So, I mean, there's a lot of more Bible prophecies that's got to be fulfilled, and there's a process involved. But one thing's for sure the bride is getting herself ready to meet the bridegroom. Are you saved? Have you given your life to Jesus Christ? Are you born again? Have you been washed in the blood? Have you been filled with the power of the Spirit of God? Have you got a new life in Christ? Paul, you're pointing out all these signs and all these terrible things people are doing. Yeah, because the thief comes forth to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus said, I've come to give you life and give it to you more abundantly. And I want you to come to Jesus. If you want to be saved, with the heart you believe that Christ is the Son of God, and you need a mouth confession unto salvation, and if you want to be saved, you can pray right there, right where you're at, right now, and call upon the Lord and find salvation. But maybe you want to have a confirmation of that. Maybe you need some help in that, need some scriptures, need some prayer. Send me a personal message right here on YouTube. Do it right now, right now, right now. Do it right now, right now. Send it right here. Title it, I want to be saved. I want to be saved. Do it right now. I want to be saved. And I will pray with you. I'll send you back correspondence. We'll send you scriptures. We'll help you. We'll pray as we send them for your salvation in Jesus' name. There's no other name in heaven or given among men where men must be saved except through and by the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, I got to get ready. I got to get all the equipment hooked up here. We're getting ready to live stream this thing all over the world, and I want you to be with me. Would you check it out? Liberty Broadcasting Network. They got a live chat room there. Also, Paul Begley Prophecy. Get over there. Get it. We got. A, I've got a live chat room there, too. And... Blog TV, it will be live under Heidi N. Beck, Paul, Heidi N. Paul, or Justin.tv on Liberty Broadcasting Network. It's all over. You'll find it in Jesus' name. Going to have a great, great, great program today. Going to be showing Kim Jong-il, his funeral, and what's going on in North Korea. We're going to be talking about this trip of Iran. We're going to be talking about a lot of stuff, earthquakes and things going on. Wow. In Jesus' name.